all right guys uh, getting back to our lecture first of all just a reminder that kindly please subscribe our channel if you haven't done yet moving on uh, we were doing ethical dilemmas in business i hope ethical dilemmas the definition for dilemma how it's related with ethics and how all these two words like ethical dilemmas are then related with business right so this these are some interconnected words which are very important to understand and i believe that you know we went through them quite in detail and it should be pretty clear now uh, if not again you can just write down your questions i'll be more than happy to answer in the next lecture all right so uh moving on we discussed that uh, you know generally we discussed some of the issues that a business faces like fairness honesty and justice which are the main issues that are posing complex dilemma to the businesses uh, moving on to the next slide which we should okay kinds of dilemmas in a business face so there are different kinds of dilemmas which a business face uh in the previous slide we discussed them generally right we discussed how uh they are usually but over here in this slide we are going to discuss one by one in detail some different kinds of dilemmas which a business and any organization faces so first of all is fundamental dilemma the essential and fundamental ethical issues that businesses mostly face are trust and integrity once trust and once respect and integrity are very crucial when it comes to business right you need to make sure that you are trustworthy you need to trust people and you need to be trustworthy yourself so it's a two way process when one we talk about trust and integrity you have to have those virtues and those uh you can say characteristics yourself and then you have to also find those in other people you should try to trust people you should learn how you can trust them right so the essential and fundamental ethical issues that businesses mostly face are trust and integrity so these are very important uh, dilemmas that you face again i mentioned that you know at times your owner trusts you a lot right you and you want to be loyal to the organization but then maybe as one of your stakeholders is trying to manipulate you maybe someone outside the company competitor is trying to manipulate you and you are in a you know dilemma whether you should maintain that trust or not whether you should you know um keep yourself loyal to the organization or you should just listen to what that person is saying or that competitor is saying so it's a dilemma for you to decide as an employee but for a business uh given an employee who claims that he's sick a sick leave a paid leave is it is it fine can you trust him again trust comes there should you trust him or should you just not trust him and tell him to be in office right so these are some of the things which are extremely extremely important so this is called the fundamental dilemma moving on we have diversity dilemma so some of the key elements in business success needs to be uh, needs the following which uh, have been written as recruiting a diverse workforce right so you should have a workforce that is diverse in nature uh, irrespective of race gender color you know skills um interests understanding every kind of employee uh has a different obviously nature different background so a diverse culture uh needs to be promoted with a diverse workforce you can't say that i just need all people who have done masters in for example business administration right no maybe there are people who have done just bachelors maybe there are people who have done bachelors not in business administration but in economics right so a diverse workforce of different religion different colors different states every person he is diverse in nature and a, a successful business i believe is when there's a diverse culture where there's a pool of ideas that's coming in that are coming in okay then we have every employee being able to enjoy a respectful workplace environment this is extremely 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 crucial why because respect comes over everything so an employee should feel respected should feel heard should feel you know uh, having some say in the organization and should feel valued basically then maximizing value of each employee's contribution right so you should support your employees as well to uh, by arranging you know business develop uh, sorry uh, employee development programs their some training schemes so that you know they can also learn new skills they can also uh, polish their skills and learn some new capabilities right which is going to be helpful for their professional growth so these three are crucial when it comes to a successful business who is following the ethics so there's a 
there is a diversity dilemma that whether you should uh maybe you know people they get um you can say they do discrimination between maybe different castes different religions that no for example if you're a christian right and you say that no if uh, i i won't be hiring any um, muslims or hindus in my organization that's extremely wrong right maybe they're even more capable than the christians themselves so that's a dilemma again that you should have diversity uh maybe you know you're saying that no i just want uh, a person who's having um, who's done masters no maybe you can have someone who's who has done bachelors maybe not at as high post as you're giving to a masters person but maybe but it's never bad to have a diverse workforce right maybe that business uh that bachelor student uh would have some some great ideas which even the master student doesn't have the master qualified person doesn't have right so this is something very important very crucial i hope uh, both of these dilemmas are clear fundamental dilemma and diversity dilemma again if you have any questions please write down and i'll be more than happy to answer those you can see these pictures showing different hands of different people showing that we're one we're together we're united this seems like a you know different uh, color people who are meeting again together again different kinds of people different genders different uh, you know age groups all of them are together so representing diverse culture right great um then moving on we have the slide continues so the third one would be compliance and governance issues very important extremely important as well so you can see this represents basically the court order so it shows that you know state laws and civil right laws are extremely important you can't run a business without uh you know just ke keeping an eye out or keeping care of taking care of what the government has asked you to do you can't do anything which is against the government against the laws right so compliance is very important in a business the foremost principle is compliance right you need to be compliant in different aspects and one of the aspects is compliant with the government compliant with the state laws right so to fully comply with environmental laws federal and state laws and other civil laws so just example let me give you a state says that maybe you know this is the minimum wage of the employee you have to be compliant maybe you would think that okay no one's going to tell them uh, i can keep the wage for whatever i want no that's against the laws of the state right against the laws of federal and state laws maybe that it's against the civil rights of that particular employee and then environmental laws maybe you have that law that you know you're not supposed to do more pollution than this particular amount you can't burn you know more fuel than this particular amount right or particular quantity basically so and if you're if you're doing that so you're again breaching the environmental laws as well and maybe you're told that you know you should re use renewable energy and so that you do not pollute environment and that has been a law that has been established and again if you're not listening you're again breaching the law so that's what compliance and government issues are all about then a very very crucial one actually all of them are pretty crucial pretty important pr pretty significant but this one is like very close to my heart as when well. this is harassment in workplace and when i'm talking about harassment this is not the harassment just with women this harassment is with any person with men women you know third gender anyone who's facing any sort of harassment is not acceptable right it's not it just doesn't have to be a physical harassment even though the picture represents one so you know the picture represents that the girl is feeling uncomfortable right so maintaining professional workplace relationship amongst employees is a continuing challenge because when you're working together you maybe at times feel that no we're not colleagues we're friends right and maybe you cross your boundaries or maybe you start harassing someone and you don't even know when you're ha when you're doing that as i mentioned it's not just about uh you know physical harassment it's about mental harassment as well if you are torturing someone ridiculing someone disrespecting someone that's also an element of harassment right so this is very important for us to understand that when we hear this word harassment it's never just about physical harassment it's about mental harassment it's it's about you know uh, just torturing a person in a way that he's mentally tortured he or she right so maintaining professional relationship is very important you should never cross your boundaries you should understand that every person has some sort of privacy that needs to be maintained and some sort of boundaries as well that needs to be respected so very important then there is never an excuse for justifiable reason of harassment you can never 
ever generate an excuse for harassment. You can't say that, no, I was harassing this person because of this and that and that and, you know, all that. So you don't have that story. There's no space for those stories. Harassment is strictly prohibited and should be strictly prohibited in any organization. And every employee, whether it's a male or a female or any other person, every person should feel safe. You should never feel that, okay, I'm going to the office and I'm not feel or maybe I'm working from home and, you know, someone is going to just pass a comment to me. No, you should be safe in the place where you're working. Right. So this is one very important concept again. Hence, these, these were some of the, um, you know, types of harassments, uh, sorry, types of dilemmas that you face in the organization. Once again, I'm just going to go through a fundamental dilemma, diversity dilemma, compliance and government is governance issues. Again, it's a dilemma. Harassment in workplace, again, a dilemma, right? So, you need to understand that maybe, you know, uh, these issues are not just limited to these four categories. There's, there are a lot more. But I just categorized them into four more basic ones so that, you know, everything you can incorporate in that and you can understand the concept very well. Moving on to the conclusion, guys. Um, again, it is important to practice good ethical behavior. It's going to just give you an overview. I'm going to read the slide and then explain you. And then we can have a general sort of, you know, kind of a discussion, virtual discussion that we're having. So conclusion is it is important to practice good ethical behavior. Um, you know, you should always be. And let me just tell you one thing. When, while I'm giving the lecture, I'll always feel that I have so many people watching me and we're actually discussing. We're actually talking to each other. And that makes me satisfied with the fact that you know you people are understanding but and again i would love to answer your questions i would love to hear from you your feedback regarding the lecture if you think that you know what should be improved what should not be there or what should be added just feel free to comment down and i'll be you know very willing to learn and you know to improve my lectures as well because the you people really are important who want to view uh, who are actually viewing these lectures and i try to make them better for you every day so uh going towards the conclusion again reading the slide it is important to practice good ethical behavior uh we all know practicing good ethical behavior is something which is extremely important you know not just in businesses in daily lives as well uh you know you should be there you should understand what the significance of this term ethics is what the significance of moral principles are so these are some very important things that needs to be taken care of then loading, uh, sorry, th this is leading, teaching and being a role model. These things come with good ethical behavior and right decisions. So if you say that you have to be a leader, you have to teach someone, you have to train someone, you have to coach someone and be a role model to someone, you need to be ethical, right? You can't just be all about work, all about profit, all about, you know, just your, you can say strict rules that you are not flexible enough according to the genuine situations which you can you know alter or something like that or make exceptions being ethical is very important right with every person if you want to be a role model just be ethical so that people who follow you get be ethical as well that's how you can set some benchmarks that's how you can set some standards then we have adopting moral management mode of leadership good behavior decision making policies and practices so moral management mode, a very important concept, uh, you know, you can even if you search this on Google, moral management mode, you're going to learn a lot about it. What moral management mode is of good leadership, of good behavior, decision making should be ethical, policies should be ethical, practices should be ethical, right? We have discussed that in plenty of detail that in, it entails more than just not doing wrong. So it's just not about ethics is not just about not doing wrong, right? And doing right it's more than that it's about going out of the box to think about the people who are working for you for whom you're working who trust you who you know you trust all of these things matter a lot so it's just not doing wrong it's going out of the box and having these uh you know this mentality that you will just at the same time while you're worried about the profit or worried about your performance you should be worried about being ethical as well right so these were the final thoughts. With that, I would like to end the lecture. Uh, I hope this was informative for you. I hope you like the slides. I hope you like the lecture. I'm open for your suggestions and feedback. And thank you very much. I'm going to see you next week. And just take care of yourself and see you soon. Bye-bye.